What is SharePoint Online? In this video, I'm going to talk about the basics of SharePoint Online and how it can help you. All organizations create and keep lots of information. That can be in the form of documents, data, images, videos, and so on. And it all has to be kept somewhere. Some of it will be stored on personal computers like laptops. They're handy for easy access to your information, but they aren't always the most secure way of storing sensitive stuff. Most of it is stored on big computers known as servers. Servers are useful because they can store lots more information than a personal computer ever could. From a server, the information can easily be shared with other people, and they're usually more secure than a personal computer. But they're expensive to run, and so usually owned by organizations rather than people. And sometimes it's hard to get access to them because they're not on the internet. At its heart, SharePoint Online is just a way to store all that information. It replaces the need to store it on personal computers and servers. And you can get to it from the internet, wherever you are, and on whatever device you're using. So let's look at how SharePoint Online stores your work. It's made up of websites. You can have just one or lots of them. And inside each of those sites, there are two different types of containers for your work, libraries and lists. Libraries are for storing documents like the ones you create in Word, Excel and PowerPoint. And it's not just Office documents, you can store almost any kind in a library, like Acrobat files, videos and images. When a document is stored in a library, it can be shared with anyone else in your organisation, and even outside it if you want it to. The other way of storing information is in lists. Lists are different from libraries because they store data rather than documents. You could think of a list like an Excel spreadsheet. It's just data in columns and rows. Lists are useful because you can store large amounts of data, you can share them with anyone, and they're very easy to create and manage. So to sum up, lists and libraries are just containers to store your work. You can have lots of lists and libraries and they're all stored in your site. Your site can be one of many in your organization and all the sites are stored in SharePoint Online. So SharePoint Online is just a way for organizations to store the work they do. Thanks for watching, and if you like these videos, please share them with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe, because I'll be posting new ones every week.